guys, welcome to Eve Stream episode 8. And today we're gonna be moving some trees in my island. We're gonna be lumberjacks. Yep. And lumberjanes. So first, I gotta get my shovel out. Okay. Do you know the hardest part about these videos for me? Hmm. Is making sure I'm not wearing the same clothes in all the videos. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Um, so first we gotta go over here and get some fruit. Because you can't move a tree unless you eat some fruit, because then you get like these superhuman powers. So it ups your stats? Yeah, pretty much. Is there a certain amount of fruit that gives you more power? I don't think so, but... I don't know if peach power was better than apple power, for example. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna get some fruits, and then we gotta eat them. So, you stay over there so then you can come to the other side. Yeah, that's why I'll stay on the uh, the wrong side of the tracks here. There, you're here now. Okay. Okay, so now I'll have to eat my peaches and uh, um, uh, apples. I forgot the name of the fruit. No. okay, if you eat more food, does it give you more power? Yes. So, it tells you in the left corner, it says 2 out of 10. That's how many fruits I've eaten. Okay. And that you can only eat a max of 10. Um... And then after we eat 10, you have to, like, either dig up trees or, like, smash rocks, and then you'll lose that power, and then you can gain more. Do you get bloated? What does that mean? Never mind. Alright, so, so if you eat 10 peaches, you're not, like, 10 times as strong. You can just lift 10 rocks. Yeah. Okay. And what are you going to do after you eat all these things? Um, I'm going to have to get my shovel out and we're going to have to move some little weed. We're going to be moving some trees here. So I don't really like where this tree is. We're going to move it. And then the funny thing is, it fits in my pocket. Oh, uh, well, because you got those magic animal I got those, crossing powers. I got those magic animal crossing powers. That's the opposite of, like, I think mom would complain that her, her jeans didn't have pockets. Mm -hmm. So when they started making cell phones larger, your mom couldn't fit her phone in the pocket. <laughs> you know what you need? I think, I, I, I figured it out. Animal crossing people wear Jenko jeans. What are Jenko jeans? So back in the 90s, um, we had these these pants called Jenkos. It was J N C O. My mom wouldn't let me wear those, but um, other people had them. I, I could only get Canyon River Blues jeans from Sears, wow. so they were cheaper. So my friends that had Jenkos, the the back of them had pockets that were so big you could fit a videotape in them. Wow! And I know you've seen a videotape. Okay? I've seen a videotape. And Those um, are big. man, you should have seen these kids. They were so cool. Jenko jeans, and then some would have the bottom would be so big that that you couldn't see people's shoes. They would just go over. So big, big clothing. Whatever size you were, you wore three sizes larger than that. Why? It was, I don't know. We just did it. All right. I don't. I don't know. Do any? Does anybody from your generation do anything goofy with clothes? Well. I feel like you guys are kind of boring. That's because we have dress codes. <laughs> okay. I mean, it is kind of true, because we don't get to wear, like, everything we want, unless it's the weekends. I think we have a dress code, too. I mean, not like you guys have. We have a dress code where we have to wear polos. Uh, if we wear button-up shirts, we have to wear a tie with it, which girls don't really wear too many of those but um but they could they could well that's you at a public school yeah all right don't you don't you work at a public school yeah we don't have that dress code though i want to know what this giant shadow thing is it's weird all right so what are we doing with this trees we're getting so we're gonna get all these track. trees and after you get all these trees you can sell them for a lot of money all right, so, also, so again, we're just making more money. Mm -hmm. And also you can move the trees. Oh, hold so on. I need, a, a, I need a net. How do I get my tools out? There we go. I don't think I can... 
You have Wait, two do nets. I have two different type of nets? You have two different nets, but okay. not two different types of nets. Okay. I have one more. Alright, so like what are the styles of kids today? Like what do what do okay, like in the eighties, people would have big hair. Yeah. You know, the kind of like shoulder school, pads the and kids stuff. In my school normally do like nothing with their hair. They do. Well you can't, right? I mean, you could. A lot of people do. Some people do some really cool things with their hair. Others are just like, whatever. I just put it up in a ponytail or I just don't care. You guys, you start a fashion thing of some sort. Like, um, also in the 90s, we, we had this group called Kid and Play. No, not Kid and Play. Um, Crisscross. And they would wear their clothes backwards. You should do that. Eventually, it was on like a T-shirt where Bugs Bunny and Tasmanian Devil would wear them. Okay. I'm just, I'm just saying, do you know? I, I just don't know what the fashion sense is today. You know, live a little. Okay. It's, it's better to be vulgar than not existing. That's why. That's why I like fashion. But the thing is, I can't do fashion because of my school dress code. All right, so you gotta find ways to. I don't want to say bend the rules. I know some of those teachers, but you got to find ways to maybe say, you know, here's what I can do within the confines of the school rules. Which is pretty much just a plain polo <laughs> and uh, Troy Spirit wear. What about what about outside of school then? You can do whatever you want outside, outside of school, school, right? Outside of school, I like to wear donut shirts. Okay. Okay, we gotta get some of the pieces. <laughs> And I also like wearing uh, Disney shirts, like the one of the ones I'm wearing now. Yeah. Moana. I got Moana on my shirt. I never watch Moana all the way through. You barely ever watch a movie all the way through. I get bored easily. Yeah, even one of your favorite movies. Once you showed us one of your favorite movies and you just like were like, oh, whatever, I'm bored, I'm leaving. <laughs> and then you just left and made yourself a cake. Okay, could you not say that in public? Okay. <laughs> okay, I think we got enough peaches and fruit. So let's go and find some more trees to get. Oh, I know where some trees are. They're by uh, Zucker's house. Okay, so I need to eat these peaches that we got. Move my trees. Alright, so moving one tree costs one piece of fruit. Mm -hmm. We should try that outside. We got this big ash tree that we need to tear down. So if I, I eat a banana. I don't think that's going to work. Come on, let's try it. Fine, I guess you could. Don't tell me you don't want to watch that. Don't tell me you don't want to watch me eat a banana or a kiwi and then immediately go out and try to move a tree. I mean, I kind of want to see you do it because I know you can't. Like, Animal Crossing, you can get superhuman powers. Because okay. Of stuff. Real life. I don't think that you will get a superhuman power. Oh, hey. I'm gonna try it. Okay, go ahead and try I mean, it. Uh, you know, I don't know, if you don't push yourself, you never get stronger, right? Mm hmm That's true. I think I'll do a nap first, though. Ha. Huh. And then- I knew it. I'll eat. Um, and then I'll probably think about it and just not do it. Yeah. All right, so why do we relocate trees? So you said you wanted to make some money, but why else? Because if you relocate trees, sometimes I can give you a better star rating, but also then you can actually move around on your island and you can have more space to actually put things. Oh, so mobility. You know, there's, I don't remember the name of it, but I think there's people that like actually study that type of thing, like where people are, where they might, uh, where they need to be. That doesn't make no sense. That doesn't make any sense. But you know, like like paths, right? So oh, like yeah. they would design a, a path, and sometimes they design it based on people's patterns of movement or where they want people to go. Found a money spot. Did you just try to hit my hole? Yeah. Why? I I'll be honest. I don't I don't know what else to do. So. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay, we gotta eat some more peaches. Millions of peaches. Peaches for me? For free? Millions of peaches, peaches I mean, for me or for free? I mean, technically they are for free. Um, 
Yeah, they are for free. Peaches come in a can. They were put there by a man in a factory downtown. What are you even saying? If I had my little way, I'd eat peaches every day. Of course you would. That was a song. Do you know the name of it? No. Peaches. Peaches. <laughs> of course. It was by a, a rock group in the 90s called The Presidents of the United States of America. Okay, we gotta go... We gotta go get these trees. Alright, I think that's what I'm gonna do for now, and it's just talk to you about the 90s. Probably. It's, you know, I don't know, I don't remember much from yesterday, and like 2000 to yesterday, I don't remember much, so... Don't you remember yesterday? And all my troubles seem so far away. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, a present. A present. Oh, no, not my... I'll open this later. We gotta move our trees. All right, today. let's move this tree. Okay, let's just move this tree. Let's the get tree this going. be over here. moving trees because then they don't like I hate it how the trees will be right in front of the villagers houses and they can't even move so I'll try walking outside but then they'll get trapped from the tree do you like our footsteps love them they sound beautiful all right how many more trees are you gonna move um we'll probably just move the sick we can right now okay and then we'll be done It's very easy to plant them also, because you can just plant them by just going over to a random spot and press on the tree and plant. But I'm not going to plant any trees right now. So I'm busy unplanting them. Okay. Well, I have a pro tip for everybody out there. If your basement is really dirty or cluttered, just hang a sheet up. <laughs> Very funny. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Top it. What am I gonna top it with? Oh yes, my weeds. Okay. So we have no more room in my pockets to plant. I mean, not plant. Uh. uh put trees so i guess that's all for today thank you for watching please like subscribe comment and hit that bell